Besides that, Indian mass of people got never trained to become nationalists. They thought, let anyone become king, it doesn't matter. We let us live peacefully and whatever due tax we shall pay, that's all. When the Mohammedans came, the people did not think that these are foreigners. It doesn't matter, Mohammedan or Hindu. But they did not think so far that uh, gradually it will deteriorate. He has favored the British government because they did not interfere with the religious affair. <laughs> Over the Muslims? No, Britishers. The Muslims interfere. Yeah. They want to wanted to propagate Islamism. Not all, some of them. But Britishers, although they were spreading Christianism, still outwardly they were neutral about religious affairs. So Bhaktivinoda Thakur prefers the Britishers are good, they do not interfere with our religious affairs. So the idea is they uh, India, you may say primitive or whatever, they wanted to make progress of the soul. They did not care who is willing. So whatever tax is due, we shall pay. Let us do our own business. That was India's attitude. They never thought in uh, terms of nationalism. That was never educated. They were never educated. Good answer, Nationalism was unknown to India. They never thought. Allow the Muslim state to do so much damage to the Vedic culture. Hmm? Why did Krishna allow the Muslims to enter and do so much damage? Krishna is your father's servant. That you do something wrong and Krishna has to check it. Is your Krishna your father's servant? Then why do you ask this question? If you allow somebody to cut your head, has Krishna to come to save you? Why do you ask this nonsense question? You are Krishna conscious. If you cut your own head, what Krishna will do? It is the same term, nationalism, as Vedic culture is Krishna's national anger. Your disease is there. Why Krishna will come to save the Vedic culture? What business he has got? If you are spoiling it, then why Krishna will come? Spoil and suffer. Same question in a different way. Why India? Why Krishna? As if Krishna is India. Krishna is India? Then why do you ask this question? That Krishna will come to save India's culture? Yes, the Indian culture, the Vedic culture, Krishna's culture. Vedic culture he has given. Bhagavad Gita. Why don't you accept it? You don't accept then Sabbath. He has given his instruction. The government gives you the law. Now when you violate, the government will come to stop you. You violate and suffer. 
Why do you expect that when I violate the laws, the government man will come and stop? Why do you expect like this? Huh? The government can give you the law who to consult and do accordingly, he'll be happy. But if you don't against, the government man is not coming to stop you, you do and so forth. Krishna says, whenever there is discrepancy, I come. That is general, not for India. Basic culture is not for India. It is for everyone. It's just that people have taken India as a model of our philosophy. Uh -huh. And sometimes that they is, judge that our is philosophy. A, that is a fact. India's practical India application. was practically following the basic culture. That's a fact. But now they have given up. So what Krishna can do? They have been victimized. So if you give up your own culture. But this propaganda is going on even here, that anything which is Indian is inferior and anything which is European is good. Yes, that is the propaganda always that is going on. That I already explained. Yes. This was the propaganda of the British. Anything Indian is bad. They wanted to stop our Rathajatra in London. As soon as they saw that it is becoming popular, even in India, the government does not that Krishna consciousness movement should go ahead. It is the demonic principle. Krishna should be cut down. That is the way of demonic civilization. Stop Krishna consciousness. Now we are preaching no illicit sex, no intoxication, no meat eating. Do you think people like it? Everyone is against this moment. So who is coming to save us? Nobody is coming. Krishna is saving. Otherwise it would have been stopped long, long ago. I was thinking that as soon as I shall propose all these things, immediately these American people will ask me to go back home. Instead of go back to God, I will go back to him. <laughs> it is Krishna's kindness that you, a few boys, well, have accepted this person. Otherwise, who likes this? Nobody likes it. Nobody likes it. Lord Jetland flatly said, Oh, it is impossible. This is the life and soul of the modern civilization. This is the advertisement, sex. This is sex. Who would like our moment? Nobody likes. What is this picture means? Sex. That's all. So many advertising, wine advertisement, meat eating, gambling, everything. The modern life is going on the basis of this fourth principle of sinful life. And we want to stop it, nobody likes it. 